Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tawny, and in today's video, I'm going to be filming a massive Everlane cozy clothing haul. If you enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed already, please do so. It really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So about a month and a half ago, at the beginning of the quarantine, I decided to place an order with Everlane because they had a massive 25% off site-wide sale and I mostly wanted to get things that were super cozy because I knew that we wouldn't really be leaving the house very often during this time so that's exactly what I did and I'm really excited to show all these things to you guys but the very first item that I want to show you guys is the shirt that I'm wearing right now and this is the Henley waffle tee and I got it in a size extra small and it's in this bone color which is just an off-white color this top retails for $38 so a little bit on the pricier side but once again because it was 25% off I got it for about $30 and overall I really love the feel and the fit of this shirt it's a little bit more of a boxy fit but it's super comfortable it's not super long so I like to do just a little bit of a front tuck to give a little bit more shape but you have all the classic Henley features you have the button collarless neck and this really cozy waffle knit another thing that I really like about this shirt is that the sleeves have this really nice cuff at the end it's a very smooth and slightly elasticated it's a really nice finish to the shirt and that same trimming material is also along the collar and the buttons overall I think that this shirt is a little bit oversized because it's an extra small and I do find that it is a little bit of a wider boxier fit and the sleeves are also very comfortable they do have a bit of roominess in them but I'm actually really happy with how the sleeves fit because sometimes when it comes to Everlane long sleeve shirts they can be a little bit short but these ones I had no issue reaching all the way down to my hands. This shirt also has a slight drop shoulder hem, but overall I really like this one and I and I can definitely see myself wearing this all the time throughout quarantine, but also during the fall and winter and cooler months. So the next item that I have to show you guys is the Re-Cotton Henley, which is very similar to the Henley that I'm wearing in that it has the classic Henley design with the button collarless neckline. However, these two shirts are quite different. The Recotton Henley is the same Recotton fabric that they use on their Recotton t-shirts, which is very cozy and soft. It's like a fuzzy, almost very light, fleecy cotton material. But I will say for this one, I got it in a size small. It's in the off-white color, by the way, which is essentially the same as the bone color that I'm wearing right now. But I noticed that this one is actually quite a bit more fitted than the one that I'm wearing right now and it's in a size small versus an extra small so this is definitely something that I would consider wearing as a base layer or something underneath a sweatshirt or something else that I want to be a little bit more fitted because it's definitely not as roomy as the one that I'm wearing right now even the arms are a little bit more fitted than the one that I'm wearing right now and they kind of have this cuff at the end that's much longer but skinnier than the ones I'm currently wearing however this one is made from recycled cotton which I think is excellent and it also retails for $28 again I got it on sale but still $28 is significantly less than the one that I'm wearing right now if you are interested in getting the look for a little bit less all right so the next item that I have is the cashmere crew sweater I have it here in a size small and in the oatmeal color which is just such a beautiful neutral beigey gray kind of color and this sweater is so soft to the touch it feels really really nice and it also has a really nice weight to it it's not too thick and heavy but it's also not too flimsy and thin I really like the neckline and how the collar looks it has that preppy design to it and also they have these really nice elasticated cuffs this sweater I think is a little bit oversized on me it's a size small but as you'll see from the try-ons it is definitely roomy so if you want something that's a little bit cozier and more roomy maybe for layering then I would go for something that's maybe your true size but if you wanted something that's a little bit more form fitting then maybe go one size down from your true size this sweater retails for $100 and if you love wearing cashmere I do highly recommend it next I have a sweater that I was really really excited to purchase but unfortunately I'm a little bit disappointed and I'll tell you guys why but this is the teddy sweater in a size small and in the color buttermilk it looks so cozy 
and it really does feel like a teddy bear. It's very, very soft. It's made with some type of synthetic fiber, which I think is why it is so soft. And I imagine that this would keep you extremely, extremely warm during the winter. And overall, it's definitely a boxier fit. It's a little bit on the shorter side and definitely wider, which is very cozy. However, the reason why I'm not crazy about this sweater is because the drop shoulder hem makes the sweater look a little bit too boxy and masculine on me. I'm not crazy about how low the drop shoulder hem is. And overall, with the boxier cut, I don't think it flatters my body shape as much. But overall, I do think that this is a very comfy and cozy sweater. I am extremely sensitive to scratchy fibers though. So I did notice that this made me ever so slightly itchy like around my arms. But once again, I'm extremely sensitive. I don't think that it would make most people itchy to wear this. It does have great reviews online, but I think just be aware that it is a little bit more of a masculine cut. And this sweater retails for $58. So I got a lot of sweaters from this haul. I'm just realizing that right now, but I promise not everything is a sweater, but I'm gonna run through all of those first. So the next sweater that I have is the oversized alpaca crew. And I got it in this Heather Java, mostly because it was the only color available in this size. And I really wanted to try the alpaca fiber because I've never tried alpaca before, but I got this in a size extra small and it retails for $94. Overall, I will say that this is definitely an oversized look but I do really like the look of it I like how it kind of has a balloon sleeve look and it does feel super super fluffy and soft it's definitely a thicker material like it's not as thin as the cashmere one but it's also very light like it's not heavy at all unfortunately for me this fiber is just a little bit too scratchy on me I don't know if you can see in the close-ups but it is very hairy I don't know how to describe it but it does just look a little bit fuzzier and unfortunately those fuzzies do irritate me just a little bit again though I'm very sensitive but overall I think that this is a cute sweater know that it is yes a little bit oversized but if you really like alpaca sweaters and want something that's cozy and oversized I do think that this is a great option okay so the last sweater that I have to show you guys is the cotton merino sweater and this I believe is one of their newer lines that they have the cotton merino combination and I got this in a size small in the color rose blossom this retails for $60 so definitely a bit cheaper than the cashmere and the alpaca options but it still feels very very soft I actually like the way that this feels on my skin a little bit more than the cashmere believe it or not I think it's a little bit less itchy for me personally and overall this is just a very classic looking sweater it is a little bit roomy on the bottom Body. So if you have a larger chest, I think that this would be great. I think it's not necessarily the most flattering sweater on my body type. But again, if I lived in a colder area, I think that this would be absolutely perfect and very comfortable for wearing on an everyday basis for casual or even more business looking attire. Okay, so moving on from sweaters, I wanted to try out this piece, which kind of had a cult following ever since they introduced it, I think a few months back. And it is the Perform Leg. I got it in the black color in a size small and I really wanted to test out these leggings and see how they compare to the Lululemon Align leggings because I have one pair of those and overall I do really like this pair of leggings. I think that the small is perfect for me. By the way, I'm about 5'4 and I typically wear a size 25 or 26 in denim and these fit me very well. They're definitely a bit compressive and snug but but not too much that it was impossible to put on. And I like that they felt very snug on because I feel like if I were to actually work out in them, that they wouldn't slide down as I'm doing an intensive workout or running or doing anything like that. These retail for $58. And while I think visually they look very similar to the Lululemon Align leggings, I do think that they are pretty different in that their material is definitely more spandexy. Like you can 
definitely feel it when it comes out of the package. It's more of that exercise material, more of that like quick dry material. So it's not necessarily a super cozy legging. I wouldn't really wear this just for lounging around, but as a workout legging, I do think that it's great. I think it's a very sleek, good looking option, a great alternative for Lululemon because obviously Lululemon is pretty pricey. And at $58 full price, this is still a lot less expensive than a lot of the on sale Lululemon legging prices. For me, I think the length is great. I'm not sure if they have different leg lengths, but I think if you're petite average length that it'll reach pretty much down to your ankle. Overall, I think if you're looking for a really good quality exercise legging, that this is a great option. Okay, so moving on to some casual t-shirts. Here I have the organic cotton boxy raglan tee. I have it in the size extra small and in the color pale pink. This shirt retails for $18. I think it's a great option for a t-shirt if you want something that's a little bit different than your typical t-shirt. The sleeves on this do come a little bit longer and the hem is the very classic diagonal raglan hemline. It is a pretty high crew neck line as well with wider sleeves, but overall this is a very comfortable shirt. I will say it's a little bit on the oversized side because it is quite boxy and wide and this is an extra small, but overall it's a really great comfy cozy t-shirt and I think it's perfect for lounging around the house. I really like their organic organic cotton. It feels super soft and smooth. So yeah, I thought that this was a really fun take on the typical t-shirt look. All right, so the next to last item that I got from Everlane is the Air Muscle Tank Top. I got it in the Heather Gray color and in an extra small. And as you can see, it's a pretty classic muscle tank silhouette. It has the really wide tank top sleeve and it has pretty low armholes. Unfortunately, on my body type, I think it's just a little bit too wide and the armholes are a little bit too low. There's a little bit extra fabric in that area, but overall, I really love the air line from Everlane. They are so light and airy, exactly how they are marketed. They're very soft. However, I will say they're a little bit pricier for what they are. I mean, this is a tank top and it is $26, but if you want something that is super, super cozy, I think that this is a really great option. But I almost see myself wearing this more as a pajama shirt than a real going out into the real world kind of shirt. And last but certainly not least, I actually repurchased an item that I already have in my closet, but just in a different size. And it is the Recotton Tee. This is in the color Off White, and I got it in a size medium. If you saw one of my last Everlane videos, you know that I purchased this in a size small, and I absolutely love this shirt. I think it's very flattering and cute, almost like a shrunken t-shirt style. But because I love that one so much, I wanted to have another one. I'm one of those people who has to have three of the same thing if I love it and wear it all the time. So I decided to get it again, but I wanted to get it in a size up just to see what it would look like in a slightly looser oversized fit. And I love this shirt. I think that it does exactly that. It gives it a little bit more of a relaxed vibe. And I feel like I'm not going to worry as much about keeping this in the dryer for the full amount of time, because if it does shrink a little bit, it'll end up like the size small, which I already have and love. And overall, I love this t-shirt. It's only $18. And again, the Recotton line that they have is very fuzzy soft. Like it is so, so soft. I don't know how they do it. It almost feels like a fleece, but it's not thick like fleece. And overall, I just really love the look of this shirt on. I feel like the sleeves are perfect. The hem on the shoulder line sits right at the top of my shoulder. The sleeves themselves are not too tight. I hate when sleeves are too tight because it makes me feel really constricted and kind of sweaty. And overall, it's not a super fitted shirt, but it's also not a super oversized t-shirt. But there you have it, guys. That is everything from this massive haul. I really hoped you enjoyed the video. If you did, once again, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I do a bunch of hauls like this from Everlane, but I'm also looking into other brands. I'm thinking of doing an Aritzia and a Talentless haul coming up because I'm so obsessed with loungewear and cozy clothes right now. But once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I I hope you stick around for more and I hope you're all staying healthy and safe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.